Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you. An Igbo social cultural group, Unzuko Umonna, and the registered trustees country director of the Christian Network and Community Development, Sam Amadi, have given Governor Ifai Uguanyi four weeks ultimatum to constitute Judicial Commission of Inquiry into the recent killing of Igbo youths in MNA Enugu states. Persons suspected to be state security officials had on August 23rd opened fire on unarmed youths who were having various physical exercise stroke trainings in MNA Enugu state and massacred them in cold blood. The group, in a letter to the governor, dated August 27th, said the unprovoked attack and murder of innocent and unarmed indigents of Enugu has caused unrest within Enugu and its environs as the citizens were living in fear of who may be the next victim, saying, don't turn Igbo land to battlefield. The letter written on their behalf by their counsel, Edwin Aniquem, noted that it was one of his primary responsibilities as the chief security officer of the state to protect the lives and property of its citizens. In view of the above, we urge the governor to set up a judicial commission of inquiry as provided under the Enugu State Commission of Inquiry, Laws of Enugu State 2004, to ascertain the immediate and remote curses of the persons involved in the aforementioned killings at MNA Enugu State. Recommend appropriate sanctions to be meted out to persons identified to be related with the massacre and also prefer solutions on how to prevent future occurrence in the state. It is our belief the execution of the above request will help to restore peace among citizens of Enugu state and its environs, especially MNE where the incident occurred. Don't turn Igbo land to battlefield or Hanese wants Igbo youths. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The issue of the killing that happened in MNA in Enugu State is still um, fresh in the minds and hearts of many people. And it has been causing a lot of um, criticism and uh, raising opinions as it were, which, as expected, uh, is yet to be uh, really, really investigated as it ought to be. Various persons, individuals, influencers have called for a thorough investigation into that incident. Well, the report is yet to be seen, if at all there is an investigation that has actually commenced into it. Well, let's quickly take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying. Chima O2 says, The Commissioner of Police does not have a good agenda with his approach to the situation. He is up to something. Guys, do you agree with this opinion? Well, it remains to be seen. The Commissioner of Police definitely has been called several times or has been called uh, to be replaced. Several people have called for his replacement as uh, they felt that he is not being transparent enough or he's hiding something or he does not ha he's not handling the situation well. So they've called on the Inspector General of Police to actually uh, recall him or replace him with somebody else. Well, it remains to be seen if that would happen. Guys, do you agree with this opinion? Say that the Commissioner of Police does not have a good agenda and with his approach, he probably might be up to something. Well, it is what it is. Blue Boy says, so we should allow them to turn it into a hunting ground?
fear is what we have left fear is what have left us prone to attacks from the weak houses and fulanis they perceive us as weaklings and therefore not afraid to plunder us guys do you agree with this uh opinion saying that it is fear that has left the evils prone to attacks from the weak houses and fulanis could that be true or is it that the house of fulanis are just bent on carrying out attacks incident attacks as at when you because they feel that the uh, southerners would not retaliate or are too weak to retaliate well that is an opinion it remains to be seen if that is uh, true our president says oh her name youth should warn the commissioner of police abdul rahman stanley because all his claims are false he is trying to give dog a bad name to hang it but he will rather be made the dog to be hanged for he that digget a pit shall fall into it well it is what it is guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue as it were the southeast the Igbos are beginning to warm up us while some are beginning to call for retaliation on the killings of the guys of the uh, uh, the killings that happened in MNA. So as a result, um a youth are saying that don't turn Igbo land to a battlefield because if the reprise starts, then there probably would be it will it will turn to a clash and um, definitely you know the result of that bloodletting. There would be bloodletting, you know, which shouldn't be. Well, I stand to be corrected, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it is? Igbo land should not be turned into a battlefield. That is just the truth of the matter. Issues need to be resolved amicably and things to be handled appropriately well. We hope that things can be done appropriately. Investigations can be launched into these attacks and... Uh, proper investigations carried out and uh, all those involved be brought to justice so that such things does not occur again. It is the reoccurrence of this kind of attack and massacre that has dealt with, uh, that has led to several or several attacks on the youth and which they are beginning to tag as a genocide or as an uh, intended massacre of the Igbo youths. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts so far concerning this particular news story? It is what it is. Well, we just hope that uh, things will be able to, or things will be sorted out by those who are in charge, by the officials. Investigations need to be launched. And those who are found guilty and their part in it should be well uh, deal, dealt with, be brought to book. It is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, we live in a country right now where we are not guaranteed justice, where we are not guaranteed fair share or equity, as it were. But with that being said, regardless, we have to continue to demand for justice. Justice needs to be demanded, as it were. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it is? Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to share your opinions, they are important. Then also subscribe to this channel as well. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support and I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.